Trump Truth versus Musk Twitter. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I'm using this time to really explain something uh, that isn't being explained that clearly, and at least it, it's not being heard by a lot of people who keep asking me, what the heck is going on? So let's talk about it a little bit. This is a little bit of a little bit of reflection on the news, but I'll find some way to turn it around into advice for you also in your business. So I'm a business investor, and so that's a lot of what I do, is, is talk about how you can work this in your business. And I use this podcast, my book, and everything else within brianjpombo.com as a way to be able to con uh, connect with uh, business owners, either successful business owners who are looking for partners, or people who are looking to go into business. So that's the whole point of brianjpombo.com. In fact, since I'm while I'm at it, might as well talk about my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. This is specifically for business owners and executives that are looking to make themselves competition proof. Okay, this isn't gonna work for everybody, but if you are in that kind of position and you're looking to beat out the bad guys, even if the, if the big guys in your industry are uh, as big as amazon.com that's sort of hence amazon proof so i've got a you can go purchase this book it, it's inexpensive it's a quick read and it's a you could also just download it for free at amazonproofbook.com amazonproofbook.com so let's talk about trump let's talk about musk let's talk about what's going on here so i've got a little bit more information today on what exactly is happening although it, it was it, it was it was kind of clear early on what happened now we all know that Elon Musk went and purchased Twitter uh, that purchase is still going through all of the rigmarole of the official stuff but in terms of the two parties agreeing to him purchasing that's all happening now they're waiting for all the regulations and stuff to go through uh, but as that's happening, everyone, is, a, a huge portion of people that were put off by Twitter are jumping back into Twitter. Uh, this is kind of driving Twitter's stock prices up and everything else. It, it just the idea of having something new and different there is bringing excitement to a place that didn't have a whole lot of excitement up until now. Over the last couple of years, they've been kind of floundering and losing kind of ground in terms of uh, their 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 power in the marketplace regardless of where you stand on the politics and everything of twitter that's the business end of things so we all a lot of us already know that's occurring but uh the largest person to get kicked off of twitter largest well known and i say largest in terms of how well known they are would be the illustrious <laughs> donald trump while still president was removed from twitter uh, during the same day, week, I can't remember. It was a very short period of time when he was kicked off multiple platforms across the board. Um, and so Twitter was one of the big ones because Trump used it so often. Uh, so with that happening, uh, after being out of office, he went out and began his own social media platform, which is still trying to get up and going called Truth Social. Here's the problem with Truth Social. Right now, Truth Social, uh, they had they had kind of a limited availability, a waiting list to be able to get in. They were still kind of doing beta testing for a while. They've kind of opened that up, at least from what I can see, uh, because I have gone in there and signed up just to be able to see what's going on. When you're reporting on social media, you gotta be able to do these type of things. So I am over on Truth Social as Brian J. Pombo. It's, once again, this isn't a political statement or anything having to do with politics. I like to be on the inside and be able to see uh, what's going on with these different businesses to be able to talk about them, especially when it comes to social media and content marketing. You gotta look at everything, regardless of political implications. You know, I, I stuck with Twitter after a whole lot of the political stuff going down there and I and I've stuck with Facebook and a lot of these things that have become controversial and now I'm going into this one which is also very controversial but I just want to clear the air on that one so what's happening there what's happening is they're only available 
at least currently. They're only available on in Apple Store. So that means Apple mobile products are the only ones able to get Truth Social right now. And, and Truth Social has a very similar platform to Twitter. It has a it has a few more options. It looks like it has a few a few things that help balance it out a little bit in terms of um, keeping robots off of it and so forth. Uh, but besides that, it's very similar, very similar to Twitter in terms of a social media platform. Now you also have that that, that one of the issues with it though. It's not only is it not available on Android, it's also not available as a desktop platform. So you can't just go to their website as you can with Twitter and Facebook and so forth, which all started as desktop platforms previous to mobile. Um, they, they, you, you, can, you can't access those, you can't access truth on your laptop or your computer or your, your desktop computer or anything of that sort. So that cuts out a whole bunch of, of viable audiences and so forth. It's not that they aren't going there, but right now they're not there. And this, uh, it's not that there is a lack of funding, but it appears that they are, they are banking on funding from uh, a, a going public. So they're looking at taking this thing public they already have an SPAC set up, and, and it's only a matter of time before that gets announced, and they will be going public. This will create the cash in influx that they probably were already counting on to be able to grow, to be able to grow that company. So because of this, <laughs> okay, if you didn't know that part of it, a lot of people are freaked out that Trump says he's not going back to Twitter. And he acts as though it has to do with the fact that they did him so wrong. Uh, really, in reality, it would be really tough for him to go back to Twitter when he's trying to get his own social media off the ground and wanting to give them at least this one chance at exclusivity because currently I'm not aware of anyone else on there that is well known that is only on there. But he is only on there for right now. So... You've got that going, and uh, that is the situation between Musk and Trump, Twitter and Truth, and we will see where it lands. Will Truth actually be able to get gain enough ground to where it can sustain itself in the long run, especially going public this early? Is that is that a is that a smart business move, one way or the other? They're getting news on it, okay? Which is what Trump is always after. It's what Musk has always been really good at, is creating buzz, creating news, having a little bit of back and forth. There might be a little bit of feuding back and forth, which is great. Uh, it's great for them in terms of getting attention and being able to get people choosing sides and so on and so forth. It's, it's very interesting to see, almost as, if, almost as if it were planned. Now, I don't think it was planned. But it has that has almost has that feel to it. You have two people that that aren't completely against each other, that are uh, kind of supporting two different companies in, in a very high profile way. So we'll see where it goes. It's lots of fun to watch, but you can realize that there's really no such thing as bad as 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 bad publicity. You know, if, if Trump hasn't proved that, I don't know who could uh, when you're. When you get that much attention, and you even if it's animosity, it's all helpful to your overall brand because you bring the people who like you closer to you, and you drive away the people who don't like you. And even in that sense, the people who don't like you tend to stick to you also, just to see what's what happens next. There's tons of stories about that, but we'll get into that another time. Hopefully, this was helpful to you. That just learning a little bit about what's going on and seeing how. How does this apply to your business? Can you see how? I'd love to hear your story. Leave a comment wherever you're watching or listening to this. We'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.